Hi, and thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video all about the Dymo card scan and its integration into Sage Sales Logics. The card scan executive from Dymo is the industry leader in business card scanning equipment, and C-Logic have created integrated software into which you can import your scanned business cards and edit the information before seamlessly firing the business card data into Sales Logics as either a lead or a contact and account. Let's have a look at all the functionality so you know what it does and how it operates. First of all, I'll make the assumption that you've purchased the Card Scan Executive hardware and software from C-Logic and that the software has been installed on your computer by your IT department. You will also have plugged the Dymo Card Scan machine into your PC via the simple USB connection. First, we simply double click on the icon to open the software. As you will see, this is a separate piece of software in which the edits are carried out before importing into Sales Logics. This is great if you are at a trade show and want to quickly scan cards before editing later. We'll also see that you can export a group to a CSV file, edit that and then re-import ready for insertion into the CRM system. Across the top we've got a number of tabs. The first tab is a welcome screen with a small settings panel. Holding my mouse over each setting gives me an explanation of each one. If Auto Generate Leads is selected, then every time you scan a card it will go straight to Sales Logics without the chance to edit beforehand. The Import Source allows you to specify a name that will be imported into Sales Logics with each record, so you can easily build groups. Let's enter Trade Show. The Data tab is where your scan cards show ready for editing. The Connection tab will be configured by your administrator, but you may set a default that scanned cards shows as leads or contacts. Also, the login details dictates the settings of the account manager in Sales Logics when a record is added. The Import Summary page is where the information is given on the success of an import, and the About tab details the software version and is where registration of the software can take place. So all we need to do now is scan a card. Here is the Dymo Card Scan Executive. It's small and lightweight, so very portable, no batteries required, and is easily connected via USB. Simply place the card face up in the machine, give it a gentle push, and through it goes. Within a couple of moments, you are automatically taken to the Data tab, where you can see your data and you can repeat for as many cards as you like and trust me I'm putting the cards through the scanner right now we now have our information ready to check and edit and notice that if the scanner detects several contacts from the same company it groups them under the same company header Simply double click or right click and choose open on any of your bits of data. This is where you can now edit the data. As we all know business cards can come in all sorts of formats but the scanner does a pretty good job of getting the information into the right fields. The company name has a drop down which dynamically populates so you can pick from names you have entered during this import session. Obviously you can check and fill in any missing information from your business cards or you can cut and paste data around the fields with normal right click functionality. Once you've done, click save. Now simply repeat for your other records. Once complete, you are ready to import, but you need to decide if you want to import as a lead or as a contact and account. If we leave it as is, all records will be imported as leads, as shown by this particular icon, as we specified a default of leads in the Connection tab, but you can change it per record. You could or import all your data as contacts by clicking on All Contacts and notice the change of icon to represent contacts. You could go back to All Leads if required 
or check as selected. By clicking as selected I can now right click on each record and specify my preference of how to import my data. I'll do two leads and three contacts. Notice that you can also delete records if you decide you don't want to import them into SalesLogix at this point. I can now insert records into SalesLogix, but before we do that, a quick word on deduplication. If you spare f specify a record to be sent to SalesLogix as a lead, there is no deduplication. But if you send a record to be entered as a contact and account, the system will first look for an exact match on company name. If the company or account exists, it will then look for an exact match on the contact first name and contact last name. If no matches are found, the contact and account will be added. If the company, however, is found but no contact, then a new contact will be added to the existing company, and if both are found, the insert will not take place. Looking at my data, I have Eddie Harford and Mark Woodbridge of C-Logic and Katie of the SBZ Corporation. Going to Sales Logics, we can see that C-Logic exists, but there is no record for Eddie or Mark. With this in mind, we would expect them to be added and we also can see that Katie of SBZ Corporation exists, so we would expect her not to be added to the system. So going back into Card Scan, we can now simply click Insert. Once the data is inserted, the icons change to indicate what happened. These icons are pretty self-explanatory, and the import summary provides an overview too. Going back into Sales Logix, we see our two new leads under the lead section. Looking at C Logic, we see that Eddie and Mark have been added to the C Logic account. And looking at the contact detail for Mark, we see the import source shows under his details tab. Katie was not added as she already exists in the database. Going back to the card scan software, my job is done and I can now simply shut down the program or delete all the data and begin importing more cards. So we can look at the export to CSV functionality. I have fast forwarded and imported the cards again. Let's say we've been at a trade show and we have maybe a hundred records in the list and as we are in an exhibition centre, we can't guarantee a connection to SalesLogix to carry out an insert. We can export the records to CSV, amend the data in the CSV file, and then re-import. To select the records, I can either press Ctrl on my keyboard and select the records I want, or I can right-click and click Select All. Now on a record I right click again and choose export to CSV. Simply choose a location where you want to save your CSV file, give it a name and click save. Back in card scan I can now delete the data or shut it down, it's up to you. Now I can browse to my CSV file and spend all the time I need editing the data in that file. When I'm ready, I come back to the Data tab of Card Scan, right click, and select Import from CSV. I now browse to my newly saved and edited CSV file, highlight, and click Open. At this point you'll get a warning about overwriting existing contact data, so be sure to be starting from a clean slate. Click Yes 
and the data will be imported and you can then go through the previous steps of selecting to import as a lead or contact and then inserting the data. In reality, you may well decide to do a batch insert of leads and then a batch insert of contacts. Our data again has been successfully imported into SalesLogix and we can now see the new leads. Please note that whilst I've been showing the data in SalesLogix within the web client, CardScan will also integrate with the SalesLogix LAN client. Here we see our imported data also in the LAN client. CardScan will also integrate with Sage CRM and Microsoft Dynamics CRM. If you don't already have CardScan for CRM and you would like to discuss purchasing it, then do contact us at CLogic, but in the meantime, thanks for watching this CLogic video.